I don't know if this is considered an ad or a sponsorship or what exactly this would be, but the company Roborock has sent me their new wet dry vacuum cleaner. Let's open it and find out. So uh, first thing of note though, is that it is approximately a uh, half of a Maggie tall. So if you're wondering, I don't know if that says more about me or the size of the vacuum. It is a little less than a half Daniel. Yeah. So let's open the box. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Second thing of note, from a sitting position, uh, crisscross applesauce, it is one Maggie tall. So this is the box that it comes in. Here it is. A lot of stuff going on. It says flat reach deep clean, uh, edge cleaning, smart sensors. This is probably the most technologically advanced vacuum cleaner I've ever owned. One thing of note though is it does not go on carpet, uh, which is unfortunate because our apartment is mostly carpet, but the kitchen does get messy. So this should still work. Help me, I, there's too much tape. So I'm just gonna read more of these things. Uh, this is the Roborock Flexi Light. So it has a flat, it has a flat reach and deep clean. It removes wet and dry messes. That's the big thing. It's a Durtex Smart Sensor, uh, one hour auto roller drying, uh, edge cleaning and uh, 17,000 POF 3 suction. PA to the third power. PA cubed. Yes. Thanks. Oh my god, guys, you're not ready. There's a secondary box. Inside the secondary box. Oh wait, no, there's no instructions. User manual. This is very soft, um, which I think is something you look for in your vacuum cleaners. What I'm excited about um, having this is me and my partner are both neurospicy. Both have ADHD and cleaning can be very hard. I also struggle with anxiety and depression. And so just cleaning in general is difficult. So having a vacuum that can do both wet and dry messes is gonna be really, really nice. We got like a clean thingy. We have a box of thing. That's the handle, but I'm confident in. This is the handle. Another box, which is very well protected. There's the display. And then, so yeah, power button, assuming it's a cycle mode. And then, uh, can I do a peel rip for you really quick? Yeah, go closer to the camera though. So now we need the actual instructions. This is our charging stand here. Yeah, we get a charging stand. Introducing the Roborock Flexi Lights Vacuum! It says connect the power cord into the bottom of the charging dock, store the extra cord inside the power cord storage slot, and plug it into the socket. Leo. The clean tank's on the front, and then you empty the back. So that's the clean tank. Okay. Nice little Roborock cable tie. Really showing off the important hey. pieces. And then I'm not going to take you over to our sink because our sink is full of dishes, but there's a hole here. There's a little thing that says water and then you open it and then you fill the hole with water. Okay, so I have so I have filled the clean tank uh, to right underneath the max limit. This is what that looks like. And then you just take it and you just pop it back into place, I believe. Very simple. This is going to be the dirty part. And so to empty it, you just the little button right here that you push and then it pops out and it looks like you even have a bonus it comes with a bonus filter right yeah they provide us with an extra filter and so that's pretty easy easy breezy cup can i say that in an ad for another company easy breezy lemon squeezy there you go there you go this i believe is a cleaning tool um i'll be honest the instructions don't seem to mention this well it should be in the manual so the charging tray comes like this it shows the cord i was showing earlier um, you plug it in right over here. The vacuum itself just comes on in. There's two spots for its wheels, just like that. It's the flexi light. It actually is pretty light, uh, and that was shockingly stable. Uh, I wouldn't say carry it like this, but yeah, you see it just kind of sits in there and it'll charge. Gives you a little diagram of all the different things. 
and then an explanation so you can kind of follow along with the picture chart. Press and hold for two seconds while charging to start deep clean mode. You can change to auto, max, or eco mode. It can self clean, press while charging, start, stop, self clean, voice, Start Boy. charging. It's a lovely product. It's beautiful. This has a really good grip on the floor, so when you want to move it, you cannot just like slide it. You have to pick it up. Which so is nice. I do appreciate that. I can't sure. knock it over. Yeah. It'll still be great. Switching modes. What are the different? What are the different modes? That would be helpful. Press. Okay, it doesn't actually tell me what the modes do. I'm not seeing any explanation of. It's just different languages, which is fantastic. Multi-language, you know, very inclusive, making sure that everyone can use it. Place the vacuum cleaner on the charging dock and press and hold the start, start charging. Press and hold the I was talking. I don't, I'm going to be fully honest. I do not know what the different versions of cleaning are or how they work. I cannot find that in the instructions. It just says switch to auto, max, and eco mode. It doesn't actually say what those mean though. Max mode, eco mode, auto mode. The cleaning head and push the handle to lock the Hey, hey yes. guys, when you use a vacuum, it's very important that you push the brush in the vacuum. Um, or else, if you don't put the brush in the vacuum, I'll just show you what happens. Oh, um, it does say that. I see that now, yeah. There is a puddle here. That just snapped in, easy peasy. There's a lot to unpull it. That's perfectly, boom. Eco mode. Auto mode. So. Handles very well. Did it push me to blow it? Yeah, I think that's part of it. That's part of it? Stop working. All okay. right. Auto mode, max mode, Basically, mode. it's low, medium, and high. Yeah. I think we should film before. I think we already had. I think we should film more. I want to do glitter. So in other vacuum tests I've seen before, people will make like little like lines of things to see how well it sucks it up. So we're going to do sprinkles. You can't see that at all. I'm so sorry. Let's do something sticky. I'm putting a lot of faith in this. But I want to do an actual test, like... Hey, right, you know, that's fair. I'm gonna do some honey. Honey. And we're really trying to test the capabilities here. So we're gonna do a combo, like thick glitter. And also fine glitter. I don't want to waste too much of my glitter. And then... <laughs> Can you show your face, Daniel? I'm having fun. I'm trying to think of other things I spill often. Are my... I hope this works. She's committing so hard. You're about to get an honest review. God, I hope it works. I don't know, clean this up. That's so much glitter. How well can you see any of it? Paint. I think that's a good spread. Oh and some crackers all crumbled up. Just for like, you know, more common thing you run into. That's, that's a mess. Eco mode. Let's see. One pass. You gotta, okay. You gotta pull it back too. You want to do that kind of pass? Yeah. Okay. Okay, next let's do sprinkles. I'm expecting similar. Okay. Okay. Wait. Go. Beautiful. Nice. Here's the big test. Ready? Hi, are you doing them at the same time? I'm gonna do them at the same time. So here's honey if you can't see it. Or do you want me to try it. to like, I can try to like angle it. You really can't see honey so this works. This works? Okay. Ready? Yeah, that's honey right there. Move it over a little bit. Like. <laughs> okay. Paint. I was gonna say, just get more of the brush. 
We just got it all on that one side, and now it's like... That was a lot of paint we threw at that. It's gotten a lot of it. Let's pause it. Okay. Let's wash it out. Let's okay. wash that brush out. Can this is a good chance to test the self-cleaning. Yes. Babe, again, it's just, that's essentially a paint roller you just created. Okay, so this might have been my fault. I made a so, paint roller, and that's, that's essentially what spread. you did. So I don't think this is the vacuum's fault. Paint is meant to spread, and I'm realizing maybe So that here's how it looks problem. right now. We're going to try the self-cleaning on a pretty extreme case. And if not, I know how to squeegee it. Start self-cleaning. Smart detection. Cleaning the roller. Okay. We're now cleaning the roller. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how well the mic is picking up, so sorry about that, audio listener. Cleaning the pipe. What's the pipe? I don't know. It is knocking out pieces that were attached to the roller, especially like out to here. But again, extreme cases. So now we're kind of in the drying portion. I'm assuming it's going to be done fairly quickly. Self cleaning completed. Starting drying. Please clean the dirty tank and reinstall it in place. There you go. So there's a button here. Pop it. Pick it up. Our filter's pink. That's my bad. And pull this out. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's... How do you empty wet? Don't, usually down a garbage disposal. Do you want me to do this in, the, in that sink? I guess. Okay. I don't know. Um, I need to clean that up though. Okay, we have some dirty dishes, so ignore that, but we're gonna, I guess, get the water out at least this way, I guess. This doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem like what I'm supposed to be doing. To the very kind people at Robro Rock who sent this to us, um, I'm aware that this is probably not the review you wanted, the very pretty, like, simple review you wanted, but this is real life, so I'm, I'm trying to follow the instructions. Okay, figured out part of the problem. This part that goes like in the top, this part that goes in the top, you're supposed to take out um, before we clean this out. So yeah, that makes that makes a lot more sense. Okay, so it's finishing self-cleaning a second time just because we really uh, did a number on it. And by we, I mean me. But this was extremely easy to reassemble and to get this out, you just use, I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me, this little handle to like pull it out. Yeah. Reinstalling it. Super simple. So this is what remains of my experiment. It's still pinkish, just a warning, babe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Auto mode. Next mode. Okay. Okay, there we go. So I just over it a bit. Can you get the cheese while you're at it? Preach. Cool death. Yeah, Whoa, that's actually really cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm currently kneeling where there once was uh, honey and glitter and paint. There is none of that now. Uh, we did not do any other cleaning off camera other than emptying this out, which I showed you. I'll admit that I wanted to make sure I took the, the roller out and, and cleaned uh, mm -hmm. the majority of the paint just because I didn't want that gunking up. Yeah, that's fair. Final thoughts. Very impressive. It's extremely flexible. 10 out of 10 on flexibility. Um, 10 out of 10 on weight. It's very light. I love that I don't have to deal with a cord. Um, the charging cord is very short, so you have to keep it close to an outlet, I will say. But it did an amazing job. Um, I've never had a wet-dry vacuum before, so that was a learning curve. Mm -hmm. To the people of RoboRock, I will not be just spilling paint on my floor again like that. Uh, sorry. Here's um, the thing. Props to you. I said this off recording. Uh, we might have turned it into an impromptu paint roller, but at the same time, it cleaned over half of it. Yeah. And then it once you, once you it got to itself. the other side, because like you, you overloaded one side. But once you got to the side that was like handling the honey and everything, like it was still cleaning over that part too. Yeah. Like... That's true. After I did the full sprinkle thing, we didn't reset. Yeah, there was, there was no. So that was after literally everything. You finished it with a final gauntlet that it almost took down. I was most impressed with, first of all, glitter, because glitter. 
but also um, the honey, because I expected fully for this to be sticky when I touched it, and there's there's nothing. So that's that to me is crazy. Overall, I think it did its job really well. I will say starting up was a bit rough, figuring out just like all of the different intricacies. It has like a, like a screen and it talks to you and the cleaning process was not particularly clear in the instructions. I tried using some of the QR codes that are on the box and stuff. Um, either they were too small for my phone to pick up or they led to a search about something completely unrelated. So QR codes, not very helpful. To, to play devil's advocate there, yeah. Even though we struggled and it was like fit, trying to figure it out, we still got it figured out up and running within not even an hour. Yeah. Like it wasn't that long. Um, I just wish things were a little bit clearer. I still don't know. There's a picture of the maintenance brush going somewhere and I still don't I really understand where it's supposed to go. But my biggest thing is like with the instructions, it gives you like three sets, which you think is helpful. But like, for example, I'm trying to figure out where the brush goes, right? And so I'm looking on here and it says that the brush is A6, right? So I go to the manual to try to figure out where the brush goes. And all it says is um, A6. Can you see that? A6. Maintenance brush. I already had that much information. Overall, I wish the instructions went into a little bit more detail about the different things that it does. Like this is clearly a very high tech thing. And on the box, it talks about how it has auto detection and all that. I'll be honest, I don't really know what that means. We can see uh, the Dirt Tech Smart Sensor uh, auto adjust using more suction and more water to tough on tough stains for a better clean. So yeah, love that it gave us this many instructions. I just wish it went more into detail about what the different modes meant and maybe a bit more on how to like how you're supposed to like clean the tank. The images are very helpful. I wish that they went into more detail about the images on the paper so that I could just kind of break it down a bit easier to understand. But overall, you filling the water it. was easy. Cleaning it out once I realized what I was supposed to be doing was easy. I'm not, I'm still not entirely sure the receptacle of which I'm supposed to be cleaning it out into. And also you have to be careful with the water because it did come out the bottom and spill over there, which Daniel did uh, clean up. So the cleaning out the vacuum process is still a little unclear, still a little bit messy. Uh, that's probably user error though because we're still figuring it out but um, overall as far as like being a vacuum that is wet and dry I would say this did great um, our floor is spotless it's very clean also up here too if you don't like the voice option which I might turn off there is a button to do so on the back mm -hmm. volume button that is, that is right there my advice is if you want to test it out don't use paint um, or if you do don't don't squeeze it out on the floor because you know, in hindsight that... You put a ton of paint on the floor. In the, like, thing that they sent me of how other people have tested it, they had liquids on the floor and they made, like, a little fish pattern and stuff. Uh -huh. I might have gone too hard. That was... That's user error. But it's that's clean. User error. Like, that's the thing that, at the end yeah. of the day. Like, it's clean. So this is a very easy thing to use. You saw even it picked how easily it picked up the cheese, which was an actual spill, not, not pre-manufactured. And it went under the stool. You, I'm just recapping and babbling. We're, you're probably good. You're probably like, yep, that's a vacuum and we're done now. That compared to a mop? Oh my god, night and day. Yeah. We'd still be working on the paint. Yeah. Yeah, I love the fact that we don't have to use my broom and my mop anymore. We can just be done. That's great. Um, I don't usually even use a vacuum on the hardwood because vacuums a lot of times will just spray out crap when you're trying to vacuum it on the hardwood floor. Maybe that's just a me problem, but I run oh, into yeah. that all the time. Wow. Also, it's a really nice vacuum cleaner. The number done on this. I'm sorry. You did? No. Hey, I'm impressed. Like, I, I think you keep apologizing because you think I'm like, Oh, I'm apologizing no. to the company that sent us a very nice vacuum cleaner to review it, and then I did something that <clears throat> was beyond its capabilities, and I feel like made it, it wasn't, look, though. made it look bad when it really did a good job. Yeah. But again, I'd like to say thank you to um, Roborock FlexiLite for sending this to me to test out. That was really cool. I'm very thankful that I was sent this to try out, and I hope that this review does it justice. Um... I hope that I was also honest about things that I didn't like or that were frustrating. Um, and I hope that this was good. But thank you to Roborock for sending this to me. I don't know if this is ad or if it's sponsored. I don't know. But 
Thank you for coming to my vacuum unboxing and tutorial. Love you. Bye. Start charging. <laughs>